Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today you are joining me in my Mini Cooper S R53. Those of you that have been following the channel for uh, quite a while, you know that I picked up this car around summertime last year and since that time the car has come a long way. Last summer what I did was I sorted out all of the um, cosmetic work. It was de -chromed, but it was de in a real bad way and all the wrap work had to all come off and I've already addressed that. I'll link in a vid somewhere up here now where you can go back and see one of the earlier vids on how this car was looking initially. So over the last couple of months the things that I have done to the car are more performance orientated uh, and what I mean by that is I've refreshed the suspension on this car. The suspension on this car originally was as old as the car, about 17-18 years old so that needed a full overhaul and what I've done is I've updated that suspension with coilovers, I've refreshed the inner and outer track rod ends on the front and we've put on some new adjustable drop links so it's pretty much as good as it gets now in terms of drive. The performance on this car it already has a 17% reduced pulley and it's got a aftermarket intercooler that I put on last summer as well. The car then went in for a full major service so we got all the oils and the filters and all of that good stuff refreshed in it and the car has been performing really well. It has done 127,500 miles but it doesn't really feel like that. The gearbox is quite a joy to roll gears in, you know, it never really skips a beat. And the supercharger, well, listen to that. This is why you buy an R53 because of that supercharger sound. The other thing that I've done is the interior. This had cloth seats and I was able to source uh, a full leather interior and I was quite particular because I really wanted the blue and the black leather interior and I think the car now just comes together really well. There's another Mini R53. <laughs> he just put his hand up while I flashed my lights at him. This car really puts the fun back into driving. This is pretty much its natural habitat, the V-Road. So cosmetically another thing that I've done is I've put on the original 17 inch Cooper S wheels on this car. Uh, this car did feature some BBSs when I picked up the car and those were replicas and I was on the fence whether to keep them on the car or whether I should uh, change them back to what they should be. So these ones came about from a friend and I was like you know what yeah let's just put these on um, and I've kind of grown to like them and I'm keen to see and hear what you guys think of these wheels leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know if they work or they don't work the exhaust on this car as well that's an aftermarket exhaust is a catback system it kind of pops and bangs on the overruns it's um, it's quite nice it's not too loud but yeah it makes a nice change from the original yeah really does handle well for a yeah, 18 year old car right now my future plans then with this car right now this car is actually up for sale <laughs> so the future plans are that it's looking for its uh, new owner and potentially potentially I've got someone coming to look at this car today I've put the car up on eBay for around two and a half grand um, you know based on the things that I've done to it and the way it's been refreshed I think it's a fair price um, the guy that's coming to look at this car, he's, uh, he's kind of offered me in the region of where I really want to be. Uh, let's just hope that it kind of plays out from that part and you know, this car really does find its new owner and a new home. Uh, this car, you either want it because you want an R53 for the way this is already set up or it's a good base for, let's say like a track car. So you know, you, you've got pretty much, you've got the engine you know that's quite solid in this and then you know you can modify it further for uh, whatever you want uh, for sort of track purposes so it all really depends on that 
I've really enjoyed driving this car and owning it over the last six months that I've owned it. Uh, it was short lived. Um, I probably got my money's worth out of this car in the first month, two months of actually owning, like owning it and driving it, if that makes sense. Because in the first month that I owned this car, I sorted out all the um, the shoddy bodywork that was on it. I drove it probably around 1500 miles because I really wanted to make sure that it's a it's a good car, which it is, and it never really skipped any beats. But I just love this thing for the way this thing drives. I mean, there's a lot of standing water and I really don't want to be facing the other way in this thing if I'm driving it like a lunatic. But one thing I will say about this car is that the love for the Mini for me has obviously grown over the time I've owned this and it might not be the last time you see me in an R53, just put it that way. I don't really know what car I'm going to buy next to kind of replace it. There's a few cars in my mind that, you know, I could have as, a, as another project to run alongside my other cars, but who knows? I might miss this so much that I might see myself in like another R53. The roads today are absolutely atrocious, so much standing water, it's a good job I'm driving this and I'm not in my M4. So it would be really good to hear from you R53 owners out there and you know hearing your stories on how your journey has been with the R53, I mean get in touch with me through my Instagram which I'll drop down here and uh, hopefully you know we can uh, start a conversation. Guys, I'm gonna end the vid here. I hope you have found my R53 ownership, you know, enjoyable. I'll leave a playlist of the R53 at the end of this vid, so you can go and check that out. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.